According to the 1962 Boundary Demarcation Legacy Agreement, Ghana share boundary to Togo at River Kolpelik, Pulmakom, and to Burkina Faso at Paga, both in the Upper East region. But in 2020, the Republic of Togo was reported to have trespassed the boundary at River Kolpelik, claiming ownership of parts of Gariki, a Sabbath of Pulmakom. They also prevented the extension of electricity to the Bilimtenga community, also within Pulmakom, claiming jurisdiction of the area. The situation also affected security officials patrolling the general area. But as part of efforts to audit Ghana's boundary lines and pillars, the Ghana Boundary Commission paid a working visit to Togo and Burkina Faso to resolve boundary disputes. The team first engaged the president of the Togo Land Boundary Commission, Duati Laja, and also the chief executive of the province of Sinkasi, Tiekap Yanani, to assess disputed boundary areas and find a lasting solution to the dispute. After an evaluation, the Togo Boundary Commission agreed to work with pre-existing demarcations. Addressing the media, National Coordinator of the Ghana Boundary Commission, Major General Emmanuel Kotia, said the dispute has been resolved and the population of both countries shall be educated to respect the demarcations. We've agreed that we would, both the Ghana Boundary Commission and the Togo Boundary will jointly um, go by legacy documents that, has, that was established so far in the boundary from, from 1927, the legacy document of 1927. Now, we have also agreed that areas that were not accessible by Ghana towards the river line uh, should now be open to Ghana and uh, the Ghanaians are now ready to leave. The Togolese have also come to an understanding that our security agencies should only be also around them uh, based on the understanding that we have come to. The team also engaged authorities of the Boundary Commission of Burkina Faso at Paga. The aim was to resolve issues about activities of Nyoga Mining Company Limited around Sapeliga in the Boku West District. It was also to evaluate and install all missing boundary pillars along the Paga boundary line. Speaking to City News, Major General Kotia said both parties have agreed on a roadmap to resolve the issues. The issues that we discuss. There's an issue in Sapelga where there are some few issues that affect the international boundary period between us and Burkina Faso. And then in the Paga area where some of the boundary pillars have been encroached upon and engulfed by uh, habitations. Both of us agree that the Joint Tech team would meet in Sapalga for a day's assessment so far as the issue along the international boundary in Sapalga is concerned. And then uh, the issue with the Paga, they will make an assessment also and then at the next meeting we will be able to come out with informed decisions that will help resolve the issue. Permanent Secretary of the Burkina Faso Boundary Commission, Zagri Liotin, commended efforts by both countries to resolve boundary disputes between them. She was optimistic the issues would be resolved amicably. Spokesperson for Mrs. Liotin is Pascal Nari. We met, we have discussed about some issues. We acknowledge that until us have some problems. But this meeting will be the point of contact because we are going to put in place two technical committees that we will be meeting to discuss common issues concerning our common border. And Burkina Faso side agreed to host uh, a meeting before the end of uh, 2021 in Wagadugu to discuss about the problem raised here. 
the Ghana Boundary Commission has reached an agreement with the Boundary Commissions of Burkina Faso and Togo to resolve all land boundary issues. Ghana Boundary Commission and that of Togo have resolved the dispute along the Kolpelik River here in Pulmakom in the Pusika district to strictly adhere by the boundary demarcation of the 1926 Legacy Agreement. But for Burkina Faso, they would want to engage the Ghana Boundary Commission further to resolve boundary disputes along the Sapeliga boundary line and also to install missing pillars along the Paga boundary line. Reporting for City News, I'm Frederick Awuni, Togo.